What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over where you can find all the evolution items and form change items for Pokemon and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> You're probably going to notice that the thumbnail has some Pokemon that, at time of release, are not available in-game. I'm going to explain that later. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has a lot of Pokemon that need specific items for them to evolve. Between different stones and, well, just a lot of things, and then even more Pokemon that need specific items to change forms. And... I need this curlier for this video. Since you last saw me, I finished all the gyms, became champion, finished all the titans, finished all the Team Star compounds. So that's what I've been doing since yesterday and today. And it's now Monday. Started this playthrough on Thursday, by the way. I'm actually going to need to come back here later on in the video because I needed Speed Knight. Oh, never mind. There's a Rodom. That's exactly what I needed. I thought they only showed up at night. First of all, Deli Bird presence in most towns are going to be having most items that you're going to need. For example, under the battle items, if I scroll down here, you're going to be finding the King's Rock, which is used for slow poke to evolve into slow king. The Razor Claw, which is used for Weavile. Under general items, you have the fire, thunder, leaf, water stone, the sweet apple and tart apple for Applin to evolve, the nectars for Oreo Corio to change forms. But if you come to Lavencia, Iono's town, the electric type gym leader, and we find ourselves Deli Bird Presence, this store stocks more items. So in here, you're going to be able to find the metal coat, which is used for Scyther to evolve to Scissor, as well as new items like the loaded dice, safety goggles, the eject button, the eject pack, all, all that fun stuff. It's all located here. Also, if you are looking for the stones, like the Dusk Stone and the Dawn Stone and stuff, I found a couple of places. I know for a fact that on this one particular hill in East Province, Three, you can find one Dawnstone, and I don't think it respawns, but right on this hill, you are going to be finding that one Dawnstone, and I know the place of one Dusk Stone, and that's going to be in Montevera, the ghost-type gym leader's town. In Montevera, which is another town that has effort value items inside of the shop, if you go behind the gym, I don't know if I got it in this save, I didn't, perfect. There you go, Dusk Stone. That's where you get one Dusk and one Dawn, I think I've covered all them. Oh, you need an ice stone. Oh, I didn't write down where the ice stone was. I think it's over here. Awesome, that took no time at all. It was a glistening item, so I don't know if it's going to be the same for you, but it was right here. Here's Montevera. I literally just came right over here. The first item I picked up was an ice stone. I remember getting them here and it wasn't hard. I do know that there's a Pokeball item of an ice stone in this area, but I'm just pretty sure that the, I just got another ice stone. Okay, you're gonna find an ice stone. I have already covered the two armors that are needed for Cerule Edge in the other video. There is no linking cord. <laughs> Figured I'd, I'd throw that out there. Oh, you don't need a lot of items in this game. That's pretty great. Let's get on to what I think one of the best mechanics of this game is, and that's the auction house. If you've done the gym trial for a Cascarafa, and then you came over here to Porto Maranada, it's marinara sauce, but with a D at the end. Porto Maranada. I, I checked with a Spanish friend about that. If you've already done that gym challenge, then you're probably familiar with the auction house. You have to do that gym challenge in order to unlock the functionality of the auction house. The two vendors on the left and the two vendors on the right have set stock. They're not going to change. But the four in the middle have a very unique stock. But the three other people here are going to be offering you random items. Fried fillets, great balls, and greppa berries. Now, they can also sell you Sunstones, Moonstone, Shiny Stone, Dust Stone, Dawn Stone, King's Rock, Metal Coat, Razor Claw, Crock Pot, Chip Pot, Bottle Cap, Gold Bottle Cap. Oh, those aren't evolution items. I figured I'd just throw it in there. As well as the Apricorn Balls, Fast Ball, Level Ball, Lure Ball, Heavy Ball, Love Ball, Friend Ball, Moon Ball, Dream Ball. And something I was pretty excited for is uh, on rare occasion, they'll also sell Premier Balls. I bought 88 of them for like... I think it was like $2,500, which is amazing because I love catching Pokemon and Premier Balls during raids 
and shinies. So there you go, Premier Ball's on the cheap. Generally, at the end of the auction, you're still gonna come out ahead if you choose to buy anything from here. Now these three vendors, you can change their stock. And I have sort of a weird hunch slash belief on something about this. Okay, so I've done a significant amount of testing, 75 minutes of testing on how to consistently get them to change their inventory and amazing observation that I can't back it up with any code or data mine or anything else, but the results are glaring and hard to ignore. Here are the vendors, by the way, they can get uh, apricorn balls and I just got my first moon ball roll and it started at 100,000 and after it reached 215, I couldn't afford it anymore. Oh. Guys, if you, if you, if you find the apricorn balls, I hope you got a lot of money. They also sell premier balls, which I love catching Pokemon and premier balls. I love premier balls. Where's my premier ball? That one down there, love premier balls. Also, they're gonna sell Feathers, which are to raise one effort value, and we're talking about that person last. In order to get them to change their stock, all you have to do is save the game, close the game out, system settings, date and time, and then change the day one day forward. You don't need to mess with the time or anything else, just one day forward. And then after loading back into the game, Moo Moo Milk, Dusk Balls, Grappa Berries. These aren't the items I want. I'm gonna save the game and I'm gonna change the day one day forward and I'm gonna come back here. Loading back into the game, lemonades, dusk balls, health feathers. Yeah, that's different. So the dusk balls are the same. The other two are different. Loading back in, hyper potions, quick balls, muscle feathers. Nothing I want, I'm gonna do it again. I've also experienced times that I didn't have to save and I just moved one day forward and it worked. So I don't know what's going on with that. There's some inconsistencies in my testing and I can't come down with exactly what's going on. Mumu Milk, Netballs, Palm Egg Berries. Yeah, I didn't save the game that time. I just closed it out and went one forward and, uh, and then it worked. So maybe you don't need to save. I wish I could tell you more specifically, but I have no idea. All I know is most of the time it works. Very next time I got a crack pot, quick balls, and tomato berries. Crack pot is the item that I need for the synesty in my party to evolve. My theory is the game is going to look and just roll items. There's a rare chance you get things like apricorn balls or gold bottle caps, but if it rolls evolution item, it's going to look at the Pokemon in your party and then generate that item for you. I don't have any code to back that up. Instead, it just happened to me nine out of nine times. I got shiny stones, crack pots, razor claws, and metal coats. Those numbers are hard to argue with. Doing that, you can get yourself pretty much an unlimited supply of evolution items once you're in the post game and everything else and you've already gathered all the items from the overworld there you go you're gonna come to the auction house you're gonna roll some days and you're finally gonna get yourself whatever evolution item you need which i think is based off of the pokemon in your party and or boxes this fourth vendor here is only going to be having specific items like the Rodom catalog. So I registered a Rodom in my Pokedex by trading it to this game and then trading it back to my other game. And no point did she offer me a Rodom catalog. But now that I have an active Rodom, it's asking if I want a Rodom catalog, which obviously I want the Rodom catalog. It's gonna let me, you know, get whatever Rodom form I want. A whole bunch of hitting the A button and not paying attention to how much money I was spending because I didn't buy a moon ball. $4,500 later, I have the Rodom catalog, which is a key item that stays inside of your inventory. And at any point that you want, you can just, I believe you have to have the Rodom in your party to use this. Rodom catalog, use it on Rodom and choose whatever form you want, like washing machine, click Rodom, and then boom, he turns into wa Rodom washing machine form. Now, I was sent over footage by someone who would like to remain anonymous of having these Pokemon in your game because you cannot legally obtain them in your game at time of recording and release. And you can get yourself the Adamic Crystal and the Lustrous Globe for Origin, Form, Dialga, and Palkia, which were introduced in Pokemon Legends Arceus. The Giratina item for its Origin form. The various elemental plates for Arceus or Arceus. Arceus just flows so much nicer. That's what it has been for so long until they changed it. Cause you know, Britain was like, hey, you're saying, but 
Arceus, all of the elemental plates, but apparently not the legendary plate. That information is unclear at this time. The prison battle for Hoopa, the scroll of darkness and waters for Cub Fu. The reins of unity for Calyrex. You do not have to have the horses. Apparently you only have to have Calyrex according to reports. And the reveal glass for Tornadus, Thunderous, Landorus, and Enamorous. Those items are going to be available for those transfer only Pokemon once they are going to be brought over from Pokemon Home or perhaps unlikely there is going to be promoted raids between now and then in which these Pokemon are going to be able to be battled and or obtained. My bet is no, they're not doing those Pokemon between now and Pokemon Home being updated, which Timeline wise speaking, history has told us that's typically late February the following year after a Pokemon game is released. But who knows? Maybe they're working on making this game run better. Hopefully, maybe they're working on patching out how to get multiple shiny wild Pokemon. Who knows? But there you go. That's how you're going to be able to get elemental items, elemental stones, and all of the form items for every Pokemon currently and futurely supported in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If the DLCs add more compatible Pokemon, I imagine that they're going to be here and obtained in the same manner. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin Chan out. Man, they see me shining. Like I got the charm, stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm Felt from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one And if you need to know how, check out Austin John Champion flow, flow, yeah, I got that Champion flow, flow